Now we need to go for the logic part. Logic part. We will fetch that data from how many tables? Three tables. VBAK, VBAP, MAKP. So again, we will go for two, two, word, two provisions here. In the first way, I will write three individual queries and then we will merge the three internal table. Next, again, I will show you how we can go for join and in one single query, I can fetch data from three tables. But it is highly, highly recommended. If you do not have HANA database, HANA database, if you have traditional database, if I will say the best word, if you have traditional database like Oracle, DB2, it is clearly, clearly mentioned whenever you have the traditional databases, always, always go for for all entries in, never, never go for join. But yes, whenever you have HANA database, always, always you can prefer join. But I will show you in both the ways so that you can understand that how we can go for join also, how we can go for for all entries in also. If I will show you the instruction, it is clearly, clearly mentioned in the instruction document. And this is always every project is following. Whenever you have traditional databases, do not go for join. At that time, always, always go for for all entries in. With the help of for all entries in, at a time, we are fetching data only from single table. But in join, we are fetching data from all the tables together in one single query. But I will show you both the ways. So firstly, we will go for single, single, three queries. Now, what is our first table? Our first table is VBAK table. Now, from VBAK table, you require how many column? We require only, only one column. If you see, from VBAK table, we require only one column. That is VBELN. It means I require a internal table of how many column? One column. If I want an internal table of one column, it means I require a structure of how many column? One column. So I will create a structure. I will go for types. Begin of. LTY underscore, suppose I will give VBA. What is one column? VBELN type. What is the data element for VBELN? We'll simply, simply copy. Whenever you are creating structures, best way always, always open the table. VBELN types. Now I will end this particular structure. Now we will go for internal table and work areas. So I will write the data for internal table. What is the naming conventions? Internal table name. LT underscore relevant name, work area LWA underscore relevant name. So I will write LT underscore data type table of. We all know whenever we have an internal table the, and we are going structure type as a reference, the keyword is type table of. Now I will go for work area. What is the naming convention for the work area? LWA underscore. I will go for VBA keyword so that there will be no confusion. 
एलटीवाई अंडरस्कोर बीबी एक टाइप एलटीवाई अंडरस्कोर बीबी एक नाउ आई विल चेक द सिंटेक्स एंड एक्टिवेट सिमिलरली वी विल डिक्लेयर द स्ट्रक्चर इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया फॉर वीबीएपी टाइप्स बेगिन ऑफ एल टी वाई अंडर स्कोर वीबीएपी नाउ जस्ट सी फ्रॉम वीबीएपी यू रिक्वायर हाउ मेनी थिंग्स पोस्टनार मैटेनार के डब्ल्यू एम ई एन जी एंड वी आर के एम ई so we want four columns from bbap but it means we require a internal table of four column yes it means we require a structure type of four column yes but rather than four we will take five five because between vbak and vbap what is the common column v b e l n so i will create a structure of how many column five columns five so i will create a structure of five columns from v b a p i will choose v b a p and we will copy paste first column v b e l n type data element of vbeln then we have postnar type data element of postnar as of now we are going for individual individual then whenever we will go for join we will not go for individuals yes because as of now we are going for three queries so i am going for three structures three internal table and three work areas so that we can become friendly with both the things now next column is v k w m e n g type data element of k w m e n g now we will go for fifth column v r k m e type v r k m i will end this particular structure we all know end of is the keyword l t y underscore p b p now i will declare internal table and work areas lt underscore vbap 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 so our second structure second internal table and second work area is ready now same way we will go for now third now for the third is which table makt table makt from makt you require how many column one column that is makt x but yes between vbap and makt what is common matenar matenar it means yes we will take two columns in the third structure one will be matenar and another will be makt x because between vbap and makt matenar is common so i will create a structure of two columns from makt table so i will write begin of types begin of lty underscore makt will copy from that table matenar type data element of matenar then we have makt x description type data element of makt x
I will end this particular type. Now we will declare the internal table and work areas. LT underscore MAKT. This is MAKT. This is MAKT. This is MAKT. If I will check the syntax and activate. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, yes, we took one output from the function module. Our output is a internal table of six column. So we created the structure type, then we created the table type. Now after that, we are writing the logic in the function module. First, we will go for single, single query, individual, one single query at a time. So based upon that, we declared three structures, three internal table, three work areas, one for VBAK, one for VBAP, and one for MAKT. Then we will go for join also. In the next video, we will write the logic to fetch the data from three individual tables. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.